Okay, welcome back everyone. Jim here. Wow. Here we are. It's the 15th of April. My last video was on the 10th. And we just had a wicked snowstorm. Uh, where I'm located here, I'm actually in Litchfield. Uh, we had 10 to 12 inches. That was five days ago. Today's Wednesday. Uh, the temperature is about 50. And I'm going to start cleaning the yard up. But I wanted to give you a quick look around just to show you the difference five days can make in Maine. If you recall some of my first pictures from that snowstorm, the truck was buried. I haven't moved the truck, not much anyway, and you can see the snow five days ago was close to a foot deep. They talk about weather changing in Maine. Well, there you are. Five days. And the snow is just about completely gone. I get to see uh, how well I did with my tractor. And I can see a little divot I did there. Not much. And it would appear that uh, any other plowing that I did did not uh, tear anything up too bad. My little trees, Chinese maple trees, uh, they got a few branches that I lost. But it's amazing. You can see over behind the camper where I pushed all the snow. The only remnants are small snow banks. Real small. <laughs> this is uh, this is amazing. And it puts me in awe every time uh, we get to this time of season. A week, two weeks ago, I'd have been willing to bet we was going to get another big snowstorm. And uh, just from my experience in Maine over the past 60, 70 years. So I guess I was correct. We got that last big snowstorm. Now I'm going to make another prediction. I'm going to predict that that was our last storm. And uh, I'm going to start cleaning the yard up now. And... Uh, Got to get the lawnmower ready. Grass is starting to get green. The birch. I did lose one limb. And I can't reach it. And it's way up. Not sure if you can see it in the camera. But there's one, one broken branch. I think the tree will survive. But, uh... Like I say, I can't reach it, so even even my 24-foot ladder wouldn't reach that. So anyway, there's a couple of smaller branches underneath it that uh, didn't survive. And we'll clean that up today. And I'd mentioned snow banks. Well, there's one other little remnant and it's about uh, 18 inches around maybe uh, close to a foot deep uh, that's probably the last snow we're gonna see for a while here I do have some trees to clean up and uh, as I had shown on the last video this ash back here Got one broken branch, and uh, I'm gonna have to work on removing that. And there's a couple of branches on the ground. I'm glad nothing hit the sawmill. 
But uh, if you follow this branch up and look at the tree just beyond, you can see where uh, one of those branches broke off. And this branch here I will uh, pull down with the tractor and I hope it doesn't peel the bark all the way down the tree. But uh, I'm not going to attempt to get a ladder up there. People that cut branches off that are hung up like that, it doesn't always turn out well if they're on a ladder. So I'd rather just pull it down and take my chances. Still have a piece of ash on the sawmill that uh, I thought I'd have some people wanting to buy that. It's got a nice little crotch figure in it, two and a quarter inches thick. Uh, would make some nice uh, little benches or something like that. Uh, ready to go. So I'll chop all this up today. Here's another larger hunk of ash, two and a quarter inches. And this one is uh, about nine foot long. So just some pieces I've got lying around. I've yet to uh, do anything with these telephone poles yet. Some friends of mine dropped off. And uh, we'd probably make a nice pole barn. There's a lot of them there. And then just back beyond the trees there, you can see uh, I've got a uh, white birch that's laying on the ground. I'm going to try to address that today too. So. Hopefully I can get this all on video. And of course there's my snow plow as it sat during that last storm. No way I could have gotten to it. All right, so let's get started. I believe I've gathered all the tools that I need. Uh, I'm going to start first on that piece right there. And uh, then I'll get the big tractor and I'll work on that piece up there pulling it down.
Sorry about that, folks. I didn't turn the camera around so you could witness that. But anyway, it did like I thought it would. And I don't think you can see it from this angle. All right, you can see uh, now from this angle, uh, it did rip a piece right down the side of the tree. I was kind of afraid it would do that. But uh, fortunately, that piece that it ripped down is just another branch. And at the base of where it stopped is where that branch ends. So that branch is probably toast and will fall down another few months. But if you look, the branch was bad to start with, right where it started to break. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it was rotten up inside. So it's no wonder it chose to break right there in that notch. So anyway, now I gotta clean up this mess. and that'll be taken care of. Now I've got another tree back there. All right, so now it's time to go cut up this birch. It's kind of laying back here out of the way, but hey, birch is good wood at the fire pit. I'll leave that for Linda and the grandchild to pick up. I think they'll enjoy that. I've tried to cut it small enough, so they'll do all right with it. So, I'm going to call it a day. So, uh, please give me a, a like 
and a subscribe and uh, I'm going to push forward with more videos as the opportunity arises.